Remote work has downtowns looking different than they did before the pandemic. And as Joy Addison reports, there's no indication things will go back the way they were. Well, at the beginning of the pandemic, we thought that telework was temporary, but new research from the conference board shows that less than 30% of companies actually plan to send their employees back into the office. And this is trouble for the commercial real estate space. A lot of office space sits empty these days. Office vacancy in the U.S. is currently at about 18.4%, which is a historical high uh, as a point of comparison. It was around 12% right before the pandemic in late 2019. Researchers say the shift to remote work plays a major role. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics finds that more than half of companies in finance, insurance, educational services, and management increased telework. The large employers have been uh, more likely to report an increase in telework since before the pandemic. The University College London predicts that by 2029, commercial buildings will be worth about 40% less than their value in 2019. With falling rents and higher interest rates and less uh, occupancy in the market means that values of buildings will continue to fall through the end of next year. Most of these commercial building occupancies are in the downtown districts of large cities, and that's creating money problems for other businesses in those areas. It's like a, a first order effect is that uh, employers of certain industries are moving towards uh, more remote work. And then secondly, the businesses that were relying on people coming into work and being in person are negatively impacted. Since we no longer have to live where we work, commercial real estate developers have become creative with the empty space, turning it into mixed use buildings that include floors for office and residences or hotels in the same building. Another new norm, unless we decide to go back into the office. And when the value of these buildings go down, that means less taxes will be paid, and this leads to less money in the communities where these buildings are. In Houston, Joy Addison, Fox News.